Welcome everybody, and here we have the Nintendo Switch. As I said, I will do a uh, Super Mario Kart 8 um, review. As you can see now on the front screen to the Switch, this is the screen uh, that comes with the Switch, the 6 inch screen. Um, it is a great little, um, great picture, great little screen here. It's, I think, the perfect size. Um, the picture, I don't know how, how good you can see it through the camera, but um, it is absolutely spot on. It is perfect for what it is. And I'm here with um, lovely Christina. Yeah, she says hello. And um, we're going to show you what Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is is like so we're playing now with uh, the joy cons uh, as you can probably see they're not connected to the to the tablet the tablet's using its um, kickstand in the back which isn't bad but could have been better as we said in the uh, unboxing uh, review and let's start right. <laughs> hello Try and turn it up as much as possible. Okay, now the first of all, gotta say, music is absolutely spot on. And we have your single player, multiplayer, up to four people. I don't know, I haven't tried playing four people on this small screen. I will at one point, I know I will. Um, we've got your online play and your wireless play. We're gonna try the multiplayer since they're both of us here now. Uh, we're gonna do our favorite one, which is uh, the versus battle. We team up against the computer. Quickly synchronize our control pads. Easy said and done. Um, I'm really glad they've done this really easy. So, the nice choice here, you get to pick uh, your own me that we've created, me and Christina. It just puts you more into the game. I think it's a nice little cute touch there. Nintendo are always good on these things. Um, you can customize your own uh, car or bike or whatever. Whatever you pick. I mean, Jesus Christ. We're riding a cauldron. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, not, I'm not impressed by that, those specs. So, you have absolutely loads and loads of choices when it comes to what you want to ride. It's really good. And the more coins you get, yeah, you you unlock you unlock your extra um, accessories with uh, with the coins that you um, that you end up having in the game. So I'm just gonna go with a small Vespa looking bike. Okay. And you pick your glider too, which is quite cool. There's loads of them. Let's pick this crazy looking one here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. The 50cc, just so you know, we don't get our asses kicked straight away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a team game, all vehicles, four races. Let's go on the same team so we don't divorce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, let's pick something nice and simple. First one, just the. The Joy Cons are good. Not the best, maybe not the best for everybody who has big hands. They're good for small women's hands. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I will um, I will show a small video on that after. But for now, let's just go in the game. Now the screen does split up really nice. I was a bit afraid of that in the beginning. To, you know, maybe it would be too small. But I think for two players so far, I'm, uh, I'm quite impressed.
<laughs> it does need a lot of practice to be honest yeah, especially if you're not familiar with the older the older Super Mario Kart it's very similar to the the Wii one I expect this to be nearly the same as the Wii U one but um the controls are just amazing on this. I think um, it has the best controllers I've seen on a um, on a Mario Kart game. The amazing graphics. I don't know if my camera's giving it justice, but um, take it from me, the graphics are just so pretty to watch. Well, as you can see, the concept is the same, um, but I have to admit the controls are much better than I thought. The um, the graphics are the best I've seen on this uh, on any Mario Kart. It's the same thing, really. I mean, if you think about it, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, Mario Kart is probably one of the only Mario, uh, well, actually, sorry, only car games of its kind that has never disappointed since the Super Nintendo until now. There isn't been a bad Mario Kart game. And I think that's what makes it a sure sealed deal. You buy these games without any hesitation or you don't have to think about it and that's what just makes them all great. No matter what console or what game or version you've got of it, it always ends up good. Because, you know, it's always been a multiplayer game and that's always really fun. It is it is one of these games that you can just call a friend over, you know, and just uh, sit down and just have a great time. I mean, you can take, we, personally, we take this to bed and we just, you know, sit there and just play uh, on the Switch, you know, if you can't get to sleep or something and whatever, you know, it's just so much fun. Um, you can take it on holiday with Take it on a holiday like we have, and it just works. Okay, as we said, I'm going to... Um, show you the control pads, how they work on this. Now this is the um, this is the switch by itself without any kind of uh, controls on the side. Here you have the first control pad and as you can see there's a little uh, notch on the side here which makes it just a bit bigger and it makes the um, top two buttons much easier to access. There's a small button on the back, you just simply remove it. It does have a bit of a tightness there. Don't don't be afraid though. It needs a bit of energy. So you remove it like this, and you hook it to the left side, like that. It's quite simple to be honest. Um, just don't lose these because they're quite expensive. Okay, it does. It isn't perfect how these remove, but it's, it's easy enough. You get used to it after. You hook this. On there and that is it guys that and it just becomes a regular portable uh, big version of a portable sorry uh, gaming console it's really really comfortable in the hands it's not too heavy um, the controls feel decent enough not perfect I can't imagine this I would I wasn't expecting this to be perfect just because of how many options you have not every um, when you play this it's going to be easy if a person with big hands is going to hold these small controllers it is going to be difficult as we said before but it is totally responsive it feels natural and I've played on this for quite a while um, you know in this way I mean and it does feel it feels really good I don't I don't like as I said though again I will say this I don't like that the power but uh, power connector is on the bottom I like that it's a uh, USB type C I don't like that it's on the bottom um, the speakers could have been on the front as we said the um, 
the power button, it has sleep mode and it has power off. Um, game slot's okay, I like where they put it and everything. But in general, I think it's a nice, a nice thing. I think it's a really nice extra to have if you're into gaming. Um, there isn't really much else to say, guys. It is just simple plug and play. Um, I'm not going to show you the um, the extra controller yet. Uh, I might make, I might sh show that in the next video I do. Um, there's a small plastic. Um, thing in anyway in the box and you just connect to your controllers and it makes it more like a regular PS4 Xbox type controller. Um, I'll show that in the next video with uh, the next game I review. But this feels really good game guys and if you are thinking about getting one, if you have something else, my, my suggestion, if you have something else and you just want to have a nice portable console, then yes, it is brilliant. Don't hesitate, it has, it has enough games now, it does need more but it has enough for you to go and buy it, just for the exclusives so far. All right, guys, so that was my take on Super Mario and the Switch and its control, half of its controllers so far. If you like my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Andreas. Until next time, guys, see ya.